guys welcome back to my running channel let's crack on with this week's episode which is how to run a faster 5k in five easy tips uh, speaking from experience i first ever 5k was around 26 minutes um whereas down it's now 18 30 um so i do know what I'm talking about, I, I think. <laughs> I hope it's worked for me. Um, so I just want to share my experience with you, pass my tips on to you. Hopefully they help. If they do help, put it in the comments section. L let me know what your 5K PB is. Um, I'd love to see uh, the engagement. So let's get on with the tips. So tip number one is to run sessions. Um, these can be hill sprint, pyramid sessions, Fatlick training, as long as you're getting them short, sharp sprints into your workouts, um, that should be absolutely fine. You need to be getting them sprints in um, rather than just plodding out, going for a little jog. You need to be doing them sessions. So you could be doing a pyramid session. Um, so I'd, what I'd do is I'd go out for a run. Um, I'd start off easy, nice, get the legs warm. And then I'd do one minute on at your 5k race pace. Um, five, and then I'd do one minute off. And then I'd do two minutes on. And then one minute off. And then three minutes on, one minute off. Um, and then do three minutes on again, one minute off. Two minutes on again, one minute off. And then finally one minute on, one minute off. Um, and then hopefully when you look at your, your chart uh, for when you've done your run, the time should look like a pyramid. Um, and that's how you know you've done it right. Hopefully you can hold that pace for the whole session. Then two threes in the middle will be especially hard because uh, it's the longest that you're, you're keeping that pace up for. Um, but as long as you're getting them short, sharp sprints in, that should be fine. You should also take into account of what pace you're aiming for. So if you're going for a 20 minute 5K, you want to be aiming for four minute kilometers, uh, four minute four minutes per kilometer. Uh, if you're aiming for a 25 minute 5K, you want to be aiming somewhere near the five minute per kilometer. And same as uh, a 30 minute 5K, you want to be aiming for somewhere near the six minute kilometers. I, I like to work in kilometers um, for the five and 10K. I think it, it makes it really easy for your predicted time. Um, especially if you're going for the sub 20, sub 20 minute 5K, you know you need to be getting just under those four minute kilometers, so the, the 355s area, um, it works perfectly. Um, I, I find it hard in miles. I know some people find it easy, that's just how I like it. Um, but that's, that's my tip number one. My tip number two is to increase your stride. Now a lot of people will cringe at me for saying that, um, but I see a lot of runners when they're, when they're running 5K, especially park runs, they're just plodding along, they're not lifting the legs. You really need to lift your legs up and stride out. And don't overstride um, because that is totally wrong. You'll start heel striking if you overstride. But make sure you're picking your legs up. You're really every step to take you faster and further. Um, it's only 20 minutes, 25 minutes, half an hour of workout. It's, it's nothing in the grand scheme of things. Um, make sure you look into videos on running form. I will be doing videos on running form, um, how you should be landing um but yeah increase your, increase your stride not too far but just just propel yourself and that could really make a difference to your 5k time so my tip number three is to attend your local park run if you don't know what park run is where have you been um park run is a 5k um organized event it's totally free um they happen on saturday mornings at nine o'clock across the across the world really i was gonna say across the country then but i think it is definitely global um they're competitive if you make it competitive i know i like to make it competitive um especially when you find in the top 10 runners of the park run there can be some pretty fighting <laughs> amongst them um it's free as i've said you don't have to pay a penny you just have to sign up um big shout out to the volunteers that help out every morning you guys if it, if it wasn't for them you won't be able to do them 5Ks. Um, they're very social. You can make them social if you if you want. Do it with your friends. Um, just have a nice chat Saturday morning. It's the best way to wake up on a Saturday is to wake up at eight, have a bit of breakfast, get your shoes on, go do your park run. You're up then. It's, it's over by half nine. Um, 
you can crack on with the rest of your day. Um, so yeah, make sure you, you get down to park run, hopefully when, when COVID buggers off. <laughs> so my tip number four for running a faster 5k is to eat well. Um, make sure that if you're going out for a 5k PB at park run on a Saturday morning, make sure you're not going out the night before and getting absolutely smashed. Um, like, <laughs> likewise, eating a big stinky kebab that's going to give you belly ache. Make sure you're having the right stuff, your pastas, your carbs. Even on the day of the park run, have a gel. Give yourself that extra energy. Um, but yeah, make sure you're hydrated. Make sure that just everything's right. If you're going for a 5k PB, you do not want to be in a state. And my tip number five is make sure you're getting them recovery runs in. So don't always do it about speed. Slow it down. Uh, run more, run further than 5k so you know you're definitely capable of, of going the distance. Enjoy it, have a social aspect, have a few mates, go out for a run with them, um, speak to them, um, but it's about, about getting that distance in, slow it right down um, and that should really help you when you when you go to your 5k, to your park runs, to your 5k races, um, when you know you've got that distance in you. And then also when you're doing your, your, uh, your long runs, speed it up towards the end. You've already ran 10K, let's say. Just last few kilometers, speed it up to your race pace um, on them long runs. You've already ran six miles. So you can do it. So just to recap, the five tips were put sessions in, increase your stride, go to park run, eat well and recover. Um, and hopefully with them five tips, you will be able to run a faster 5K. If you do run a faster 5K, put it in the comments section. Um, let me know if this video helped you. If it didn't help you, let me know. Um, I'm sure this stuff can change. Make sure you subscribe to the channel um, and let me know what you're thinking about the videos. If you've got any suggestions for videos that you want to see in the future, let me know, that's perfect. Um, so thanks guys, keep on running um, and I'll see you next time.